Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, January 30th. There is perhaps no greater testimony to a school than to hear the words of students talking about their school. And we have the pleasure of being able to hear three students speak about ASD. These three students were finalists for the International Day speeches, so that they actually wrote the speech, rehearsed it, and then gave their speech before a panel. We selected one of them to speak for International Day, but I can assure you any of the three were, could have been chosen because they were all stars. As they thought about ASD and they thought about International Week, they thought about ways that ASD has helped them increase their international understanding so that they could be positive, active, global citizens. As you know, that is a line from our mission that we take very seriously, and it is also our first strategy. And so let us hear from these three students who talk about being positive, active, global citizens, and the way that ASD has inspired them and empowered them throughout their years here to be that. Thank you. American School of Doha. Three separate regular words, but put together build the foundations of the education of over 70 emerging cultures. My name's Tess, and this is my ninth year here at ASD. Being five years old when I first came to Doha, I had no idea what an impact this building would have on my life. Upon the landing of the plane, I was suddenly very confused. All my old friends were gone, and my view was a never-ending bubble of beige. But then school started, and everything changed. I was welcomed with kindness into our small first grade classroom. And soon, I started making friends from more countries and with more heritage than I could count. By the second week of school, I couldn't wait to show off my memorization of our ASD values respect, responsibility, honesty, and compassion. My second grade classroom was nestled into a porta cabin where we were told these temporary structures were only in place because something greater was coming, an addition. The spacious dirt parking lot began to sprout and on the drive home after school every day, my parents and I would watch our new school bloom into the flower it is today. However, at the time, the addition was placed into the fairy tale category of my mind alongside the new airport. However, as I transitioned into upper elementary, the addition was complete, and I jealously watched this first group of students enter. Meanwhile, I participated in the classics of ASD, purchasing pumpkins, smashing confetti eggs, singing in the fifth grade musical, and placing my dove on the original piece wall. The art rooms were filled with our messy and creative fingers. I slobbed on some green and blue paint in a shape that vaguely resembled a globe. At the time, I watched my doves place on the wall with pride located right under the A in the word peace. But I was missing the whole entire point. What was truly amazing about that wall was its message. It symbolized our school's pledge to live in harmony and peace with its blend of cultures, races, and languages. Today, the spirit of those doves still soars high as we aspire to be positive, active, global citizens. Time passed and I graduated into the sleek automatic doors of middle school. My experiences were on par with all of my peers. I was drafted and remained loyal to my house. I received my first laptop with sheer excitement. I helpfully painted schools in Sri Lanka for a week without walls. I could hear fluent conversations in at least three different languages without even having to change hallways. Notices tacked up in the commons announcing ski trips to Switzerland, cultural trips to France, and drama trips to London all blended into part of my day-to-day -day reality. It wasn't until summer when I realized the true marvel of an existence we are living. Flying back home, I would swaddle into welcome hugs from my family and friends, then deny all rumors of riding a camel to school or living in a brick hut. Talking a mile a minute to cram in a year's worth of companionship into a summer, I'd start by describing my daily school life and chatting about my friends. Just the diversity of my friends' names and their heritage flabbergasted my aunts, uncles, and cousins. They all repeatedly told me of the amazing opportunities I was receiving. Embarrassed, I tried to shrug it off into the pile of ended conversation topics. But there is no escaping the fact that we are all truly privileged. Yes, ASU is a school with four walled classrooms, just like everyone else. But inside each and every one of those classrooms, 
you will find opportunities in all aspects of learning, dedicated teachers, and the limitless potential of knowledge. We are all genuinely lucky. Come June, what we learn here, our friendships, our experiences, our knowledge, our understandings, will travel the globe. We are the future generation of an international global community of successful citizens who will strive for peace and prosperity. And it all started here, right behind the books in our classrooms today. This is my thread, the story of my time here. Gleaming in red, white, and blue, my thread represents the impact ASD has had on my education and character. But I'm just one strand. What makes ASD special is all of our strands woven by our teachers, sewn by our administrators, and cherished by our director into a magnificent multicultural quilt of knowledge. This tapestry is who we are. We are ASD. We are ASD, such a broad statement, yet so specific. What does it mean to be a part of the ASD community? Other than the values of respect, honesty, res and responsibility, compassion is the one value we constantly come across at ASD. With over 75 different nationalities, how is it that a school with so many different students still know how to come across and stop? Just stop for a second to help others before reaching their ultimate goal of success. We, as students, understand how fortunate we are to come to a place so highly ranked, but we have shaped our own points of views from our teachers, our parents, and from each other. We take what we have and turn it into a possibility for others who didn't get the opportunities that we got dealt. 25 years of excellence. ASD, what we need to recognize is that we create excellence. 25 years of educating students that will continue to succeed after they, have left, after they leave ASD. From one independent shack to one equally strong and equally valued community. ASD has soared in the 25 years it has been open. Those of you that heard the ASD story, you know that it was it first opened as an elementary school. Money and tools that were needed to open the school were given to as a favor, the, especially the first building as well. The first computers, printers, and books were all a favor as well. Somehow, the people that contributed to, to the beginning of ASD knew that this place was going to be special and that it was going to be a hub for student success in Qatar. ASD is not just the name you carry. It is in you and creates you. My name is Solomon Elias. I am 18 years old. And I am currently, I'm currently a senior, and I have been a, ten, a student at ASD for more than 10 years. I have been to many different schools in the world, but nothing compares to the diversity found in ASD. Coming back to ASD, I understood what people, told, what people meant when they told me, once a dragon, always a dragon. Because AS, ASD leaves an imprint on every single student that comes here. For me, graduating is extremely scary. Being away from my family, being outside of my home and outside of my comfort zone. But ASD has prepared me for whatever life has to offer. It has made me strong enough to overcome anything. It has opened me and created the person I am today. ASD has taught me to dream big, to work hard, but to always stay humble. Being in ASD, I feel a sense of pride like I do when I see my country's flag being carried, which tells me that ASD is truly a place where I am from. When I leave ASD, I will always be an ambassador, and I doubt that I'll ever forget what the school has given me, which is a passion in what I do, and I will never forget what it has taught me, which is to always work hard for what I want in life. What do you see coming into ASD? I see a student body that is very impressive, but we need to recognize others that make the school ASD. Those people are not only our teachers, counselors, and principals, but they are how men and women, the guards around the school, and the cafeteria people who come to contribute to our overall education every day. Also, and very importantly, our parents, who put so much into the school, expecting only one thing in return, an, our education. These people make our school great, so great. And I want to say thank you to all those people, because without you, I'm sure none of us would be the same. Most schools that seem most appealing to me are, in, are those that are involved in their communities. But a lot of schools can say that they're involved with their communities because it's the easiest thing. But what schools can say that they have contributed to, on, a global scale, on a global scale? Schools can also say that they have talent programs, usually focusing on one talent, which in most cases is sports. But here at ASD, all talent is recognized, from sports to music to acting, and whatever else you could think of. ASD is truly a place where talent is expected, 
and achieved. We are dragons, which means we are fighters and risk takers. Dragons are known as legendary creatures, so let's be legendary. When seeing a dragon, people feel threatened because we are so tough and a force to be reckoned with, but we have such big hearts. So what is ASD? You are ASD, I am ASD, and those who have been here before us embody the meaning of ASD. All in all, we are ASD. When people say ASD, they think of school, students and teachers. I think my second home and family. ASD is my home and just like my real family, no one is judged. You are seen for who you truly are. I've been at ASD since kindergarten and each year I have been blessed with wonders. New friends, amazing teachers, huge amounts of knowledge and best of all how to work hard, play hard. ASD's motto. ASD has never failed to welcome me as if I was a new student each and every year I was here. In fact, AC welcomes every student, new, old, despite color, race, religion, and culture. This quality is what makes ASD a successful multicultural, multi-religion, multi-color, and of course, a multi-language school. It is amazing how ASD can hold such a diverse community, where we're all coming from different backgrounds, yet we assemble as one. We grieve as one, we excite as one, and most importantly, we help as one. ASD is extremely supportive and helpful to other schools, communities, countries, animals, the environment, and the list goes on. ASD helps anyone or anything in need. ASD's hands reach everywhere and these hands never let you go until they pick you up and help you back on your feet. This is who we are. We help, we explore, we forgive, and we are taught lessons. Not only lessons of education, but lessons of life. We are all enlightened of the qualities that make us who we are and make us true. ASD is basically the whole world compacted into its buildings. We have people from every corner of the world, and yet we unite and we represent as a whole. We represent who we are as individuals, we represent where we come from and what we've been through. And upon all these differences, we represent together ASD. ASD will always live within us and shine through us. We are the ASD family. Thousands of bodies, but one heart.